there, Campbell family, and welcome to another episode of Turtle Tube. There's some really neat stuff in this week's episode. First up, we're going to see Miss Zimmerman tell us how to take care of our teeth. Hi guys, it's Mrs. Zimmerman here. How you doing? I'm just here in my bathroom over my bathroom sink, getting ready to talk to you guys about something super duper important that you should be doing at home. Taking care of your teeth and gums. Now I know you know how important brushing your teeth is. Please make sure that you're brushing them every morning and every night before you go to bed. Hey, you can even bump it up and brush midday after you eat your lunch as well. I also have some other tools here that help me take care of my teeth that I wanted to show you. Dental floss, a little flosser, and this Bisto flosser. So the dental floss, you guys have seen this before, you just wrap it around, get on and off in there, get all those little food particles out. It's kind of easy in the front, a little harder in the back. That's why I like these guys better. They help you get in the back really, really well. Huh? They also have this little tool, a little toothpick, and he's great for taking care of your gums. You get in there, you go all around, make sure that there's no little food particles left in there. Your gums will thank you later. And then I got this guy. This guy's the Bisto, um, Bisto Foster, I call him in my house. But I don't think you want to see me use him because it's really gross and it's pretty messy. So you don't want to see that, right? You do? You want to see me use this even though it's so gross? All right, listen, I'm only doing it because I love you guys. Here we go. Mmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Now my teeth looked really clean, right? Ew, gross. You want to see it? All right, I'll show you. Check out my smoothie from lunch. It is so important that you're taking care of your teeth. Take care of your teeth every single day and make sure to do my Google Health lesson. Otherwise. Wow. It's crazy all the stuff that ends up in our teeth. That makes me want to go floss right now. Well, next up, Miss Norwood is going to show us how to do some really cool outdoor art. Hi, Campbell. This time we are looking at some surprising artwork. Maybe you want to create some special artwork home or outside. Here are some shots around my neighborhood that you might be interested in seeing. I hope you find some work to share in your neighborhood. Shh. I'm about to do a very secret special artwork outside. Do you have somewhere special you want to make a super secret artwork for someone to find? Stay tuned. Oh, <laughs> I was making my own art. I don't have any sidewalk chalk, but I do have some crayons and a blank sheet. So that's what I've started so far. Wow, that outside art was really cool. All right, next, Miss Kim is going to show us um, some more outside art, also known as street art. 
Hi friends, happy Monday. It's time for another round of Art Madness. Let's see who we have this week. This week we're gonna focus on something different and new. We're gonna look at artists who make art for the public. This style of art, this kind of art is called public art or street art. I'm gonna to refer to it as street art. It's meant to surprise the viewer. It's meant to grab your attention. It's supposed to be fun and put a smile on your face. Our first artist is Martin Watson and this piece of art is made by combining a stencil outline of a man who is pulling back a curtain to reveal or show some really cool graffiti art underneath. This is also a really nice illusion on top of it all. Definitely an attention grabber. Our second artist for this week is Jim Bakker. And Jim Bakker lives and works in Chicago and his art is actually put into the street inside old potholes that really aren't very attractive. The art form that he uses to make his art is called uh, mosaic and that is an ancient technique where small pieces of glass are cut and arranged together to create a beautiful design. Jim's mosaics show recognizable fun objects that we all know and love like animals and food and in this case a delicious orange flavored cream sickle. Wouldn't this be such a fun surprise to run into on your walk? Which one is your favorite this week? They're both so cool in different ways. You may have to think about it a little bit and then go and make your vote when you're ready. Have fun. Thanks, Miss Kim, for showing us that awesome street art. And I have finished my own piece. So I'll be hanging that up somewhere for someone to find. Next, Miss Shulka is going to show us some sounds that she's found in and around her home and how she made some music out of them. I hope you're all taking the time to listen to some music at home. I also like to explore found sounds. Found sounds are sounds that just kind of happen. Here are some found sounds that I explored outdoors. this little guy? He's right in the middle. That's a cardinal. If you're indoors, some of the best found sounds happen there. Check these out. And finally, I put some of my found sounds together to make a short musical composition for you. Check it out. Wow, that was such a fun groove that Ms. Shulker made with all her sounds. Next, Ms. Lauman is going to bring back our favorite teacher's pet, Maybell, to show us some commands that she gives her in Spanish. Maybell, ven. Maybell, siéntate. Muy bien. Maybell, acuéstate. Muy bien. Maybell, levántate. Levántate, Meba. Levántate. Muy bien. No, levántate. No, levántate. Meba, levántate. Quédate. Quédate. Ah, ah, quédate. Ok, Meba, ven. Siéntate. Excelente, Meba. Excelente. Meba. Meba, mira. Oh. Meba. Aquí está el osito. No, Mabel. No todavía. Déjalo. Déjalo, Mabel. Déjalo. Mabel. Muy bien. Siéntate. 
Muy bien. Mabel, recoge el osito. Recógelo. Tráemelo. Muy bien. Mabel, dame el osito. Dame el osito. Muy bien, Mabel. Mabel, dile adiós. Dile adiós. Dile adiós. Dile adiós. Isn't Mabel just the cutest? Miss Lauman did want me to mention that although she couldn't type the accents on her computer, that the accents are required for it to be a correct spelling. Words like siéntate, acuéstate, and levántate all have accents on the second syllable. So make sure that when you write them, you include them or they are not spelled correctly. All right, next, Miss Burgess is gonna show us this week's PE challenge. Let's have a look. Hey friends, this week's fitness challenge is going to be a wall sit challenge. Last week we did a plank challenge where we used our core muscles to hold planks in all kinds of interesting places. Thanks to my friends who sent me pictures and videos of them doing their planks. They were amazing. Um, today's wall sit challenge is going to work more on our lower body muscles. So just like last week, grab yourself a stopwatch, get yourself a wall, it can be inside, it can be outside. You could find a fence or a pole, a tree, as long as you can put your back up against it and do what we're about to do. Each day, see if you can hold your um, wall sit for a little bit longer as you strengthen those muscles in your lower body. So as a reminder, when we go to do a wall sit, we need to put our back flat against the wall. Ooh, I'm not there yet. There we go. We're gonna slide down until our knees are bent and it's almost like you have a chair underneath of you, but it's not really there. You're using your muscles to hold your body up. You can start your stopwatch, see how long you can hold it. Once you feel like you can't hold it anymore, or if you start having to stand up like this, go ahead and stop the stopwatch and see how uh, long you held it. Each day, try to add a little bit more time and good luck, Campbell. I'd love to see pictures and videos of you trying this week's challenge too. This wall set challenge is really hard. Ugh, I'm really gonna have to work on that one to build up my muscles. All right, last up, we have some student art that was made from an art challenge from last week. Enjoy. Here are some fun pieces of art made by Campbell artists for last week's art challenge number 10. The assignment was to make a mini art gallery for any of your tiny friends. Did you know it's never too late to participate? You can display your work on the Padlet walls anytime. Yay! 